Viewers are warned that the following material is rated C and B and contains explicit childcare scenes and useful information on how to balance home and family life and unashamedly cute baby shots. Hello and welcome to Nine Months, the program that keeps neonatals up to date with all the views and news to get them through those early years. On tonight's program... Hey, turn that thing off! I'm watching my show! Oh, so noisy out there. Baby can hardly hear himself think. Well, I've got some good news. You got it. Oh, fantastic. You deserve that manager's job. You've been working so hard for him. Congratulations. It's not the job. Oh, oh, Shifting priorities is just one change that the new parent must face. And it's a difficult one for women who are fighting hard to forge a career. Viewers are warned that the following material is rated C and B and contains explicit childcare scenes and useful information on how to balance home and family life and unashamedly cute baby shots. Hello and welcome to Nine Months program that keeps neonatals up to date with all the views and news to get them through those early years. On tonight's program... Hey, turn that thing off! I'm watching my show! Oh, so noisy out there. Baby can hardly hear himself think. Well, I've got some good news. You got it. Oh, fantastic. You deserve that manager's job. You've been working so hard for him. Congratulations. It's not the job. Oh, sh Shifting priorities is just one change that the new parent must face. And it's a difficult one for women who are fighting hard to forge a career. Us kids cost nothing to make, but the maintenance and upkeep can really add up. I'm here at Westpac because earlier this year they were one of the first private companies to realise this and offer six weeks paid maternity leave to help staff in a time of financial burden. But there's more to it than that. Right this way, please, sir. Thanks, mate. Paid maternity leave is seen as one way to assure continued future employment with Westpac. And a carrot to encourage the experienced and skilled staff to return to work. In a nutshell, they want your parents to stay. This is only one of the many issues that Westpac is working on to help parents balance home and work life. Hi, Brendan. How are you? I caught up with Avril Henry, manager of Workforce Diversity, to help us colour in between the lines of the big picture. Uh, Avril, why is Westpac uh, taking all these initiatives? Well, I suppose um, Westpac has realised that um, childcare is an important business issue and that if we want to retain good female staff and if we want to attract good male and female staff into the workplace, then we need to be a family-friendly organisation in terms of helping people to balance work and family life. Mm, that's a, a big change in attitude. Well, many of these initiatives are as a result of recognising that in Australia today, um, the workforce is very different and so are family structures to what they were some 20 years ago. For example, 56% of two-parent families... Ah, next up, did you hear that? Have you read that booklet yet? Hey, hey. Don't forget hey. are you listening? Oh, can't believe it's been 18 weeks already. Mm. Can you believe it? You'll hardly be getting the hang of a new job and you'll be leaving. Leaving? Well, you can't have the baby and still go to work. Are you serious? Of course. You've never mentioned this before. Well, I just assumed that you wouldn't Since work. when have you been thinking for me? Well, I thought seeing you were pregnant, you wouldn't want to stay on. It's a very demanding position, Sam. Look, Ed, I'm having a baby, not a lobotomy. I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I do want to go back to work. Oh, no. What do you mean, oh, no? Oh, no, I don't mean no. I mean, look at the time. I'm going to be late for my bus. Here, something for you to read, and try and remember what decade we're in when you read it. You're turning me into a sensitive new-age guy, you know. I'll settle for a sensible middle-aged guy. What are we going to do with him? I don't know. Good question. It is a good question, but the question shouldn't be to work or not to work, but how to work. For many women, blending the new demands of motherhood with the existing image of themselves as working women and partners in a relationship can take time. The decision about what to do about their career 
is complicated further by other people's attitudes. There's always some other adult that knows better. If they return to work, they're abandoning you and you'll grow up to be an axe murderer or a politician. If they don't go back to work, they think that perhaps they've given up the opportunity to develop to their full potential. The simple truth is that you can't have two full-time careers. It's all about achieving a balance that works. Macquarie University in Sydney is one of the best centres for early childhood studies in the country. Jun Wangman, head of the Institute of Early Childhood at the university. There's still, um, and it surfaces from time to time, this idea that children, particularly very young children, babies and toddlers, should be actually at home with mother. And if they're not there, uh, the mother isn't doing her job well, and so the mothers have to carry around this enormous guilt trip about it as well. Now, there's been extensive research over the last 15 years that says virtually um, that's a nonsense. Um, children who are in good childcare uh, are in no way, there is no sort of detrimental outcomes for any of their areas of development. So if your mum does take the decision to go back to work, Westpac has a number of options available. Full-time work doesn't suit everyone. For some, the extra time at home with a new child makes part-time the best solution. It works really well for me because I'm working three days and my mum has Laura the three days I work and Westpac was flexible in giving me the days that I needed and we just needed a bit of extra financial support so that comes in handy and if I have any more kids later on well then I can still come back and have work and raising the kids as well. Another incarnation of part-time work is job share, which is a voluntary agreement where more than one person works part-time to fill one full-time position. It just gives me time to spend with my daughter as well. I work three days, so it gives me four days with my daughter. Still keeps my mind active, my career's still going. Just gives me the opportunity to stay in, in touch and uh, hopefully when the kids are at school, I'll be able to go back full time. Or like Linda Sibra, home-based work may suit. I have to be there for them. That, that is an absolute must. I mean, my work is as important or less important perhaps to me than my children. or well, they're equally balanced. So uh, this gives me the opportunity to balance the two important things in my life, having a satisfying career as well as uh, looking after these two little monsters. These are a few of the options that are available at Westpac. Of course there is the option that your mum may not wish to return to work at all. And that's just as valid as any other choice. Westpac is trying to keep its good people by making it easy to return to work. But the choice is ultimately up to the individual. Sorry, it's uh, a little gloggy. I thought you'd be home half an hour ago. My feet are killing me. You've been taking the banking to the customers again, have we? Yes, we have. Now, uh, we've got to look at what we're going to do about childcare. You know, I can arrange some shifts to suit, and um, I know your time's a little bit more flexible, but we still have to find out you know, who's going to look after the baby. Yeah. What about your mum? Sometimes. She's not keen on a full-time job. She's been doing it for 30 years. Well, we should be OK for the first year. We can take parental leave, um, that'll give us 52 weeks. And we can share that. Uh, you can take some maternity leave. Um, and then if you like, I can take some paternity leave, just with a bit of um, part-time work thrown in, just to help with the bills. You've been doing your homework. Well, that's our first year. Then what? Well, childcare. Ah, oh, yuck. Not that mesh again. This guy is a bad cook. Childcare is cool. But leaving your parents can cause them some concern. Nadine Robinson with this report. That first day of childcare can be a tough one. Mums can get so worried and can tend to panic in those first few weeks. But be firm and just walk away at the gate and don't look back. It's the best thing for them. And when they've disappeared around the corner, it's party time! Oh, 
to child care is more than just free play. It's about developing socially and intellectually. Becoming accustomed to being with other children and adults. Learning to share, cooperate and helping others. Sounds boring, hey, but it's not too bad. The really cool places are in demand, so it's important your parents book you in early. Westpac can help you too. Westpac offers childcare facilities in two locations in Sydney. A childcare placement service in Melbourne. And what about school holidays? Westpac has access to six vacation care programs spread across Sydney, Melbourne and Brisbane. Family leave to care and support for sick children is also available. This is the Capricorn Child Care Centre in the Sydney CBD, which is just one of the centres used by Westpac. James, tell us about this centre. Well, uh, the idea for the centre came out of the uh, fact that we looked at the uh, existing usage of our centre in North Sydney and found that many of the parents actually worked in the city. So we set about trying to create a facility that was ideal for working parents and their children. Uh, the idea behind the design came from trying to create something that was really different and uh, stood out as something that was designed specifically for children, not, not as an adult space. And I think we've succeeded in doing that. Child care is certainly more than just a babysitting service that some may have you believe. But it's still important to choose your centre carefully. Remember, your parents are going to be happier and more effective when they start back at work if they are comfortable with the care you're getting. Child care. You don't realise it at the time, but they're the best days of your life. Turn off that light. I'm trying to watch my show. <laughs> You can't be having a baby. No one has babies in the middle of the day. No, you're right, Anne. I'm not having a baby. Must be that bowling ball I had for dinner last night. OK, keep calm. Quick trip to the hospital. Calm, calm. OK. I got my wallet. Hey, Mum. Dad! Help me out of here. Hey, I don't know if I'm ready for this. Oh, I hope there's someone there to catch me, cause, cause here I come! <laughs> hey, you guys work for Westpac. They're my preferred employer, you know. He looks just like you, Ed. <laughs> Lucky fella. Yes. That's all for this program. See you next trimester. Until then, keep kicking. Bye for now. Next up on your umbilical television network, Australia's funniest home ultrasounds, followed by tonight's movies, Murder on the Orient Express starring Thomas the Tank Engine and that old rib tickler, Three Babies and a Man. <laughs>